we have the Premier League Hall of Fame coming, ladies and gentlemen, and that those is, in between. That is exciting. The Where 19- is it a building? Is it going to be a building? Oh, the, <laughs> the, the HQ. <laughs> is it actually nothing? Is, oh, that, is actually going to be like a No one would have know. jobs there. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, coronavirus. I'm taking CVs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I actually haven't thought about that. All I know is that on the 19th, the first two go in. They're like, gonna, they're gonna be. It's like a, it's like a basic. It's like a plaque. It's like a. a Where's a, the plaque going? Of, of memory, I, I don't Saint really know. Saint, Saint James's Park, Saint George's Park, wherever. Like, oh, the where, where the England HQ is. HQ is, yeah. The England HQ. The training, is. the training headquarters, yeah. Not Arsenal. <laughs> Arsenal. <laughs> Arsenal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we deserve it the most. <laughs> but basic, basically, yeah. it's to, <laughs> it's yeah. to, um, it's to signify the the Hall of Fame of the players since the Premier League turned to the Premier League in 1996. Okay. Uh, and changed actually to that name of the Premier League highlighting the players who've made such an impact because there's yeah. been loads from different clubs and yeah. it's, it's so interesting because of the different eras they were doing it on Monday Night Football a few uh, few weeks ago where they were discussing the best teams of certain periods Yeah, and it's crazy oh, not when they used the stats to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was good that but was. what I really love about football and it showed recently even with Liverpool's little dip in form you know did you hear the news story about the fan that wrote into Klopp and he, the United, the United fan, fan yeah. did you hear about this a Man United fan wrote into Jurgen Klopp and basically wrote him a personalised letter and he said, it was something like, Jurgen Klopp, can you please lose a few games just to give <laughs> the other right. teams a chance? And Klopp's reply, I thought, was was spot on because basically he was very like considered what he said because this kid's probably only about seven or eight. Yeah. And he wrote back to him, which is fair enough because you, you can imagine he probably wouldn't have time to do that. He probably gets a lot of fan mail. Oh, yeah. And he basically said in this letter back to the kid, like, I, I can't promise you that we're going to lose because we're going we're gonna to be contending for the title and we want to win that. However, football changes and no one stays at the top forever. And it's so true. You get yeah. your chance. You have, you have periods of time where teams dominate and then all of a sudden it changes and it swings in roundabouts and no one stays at the top and forever. And the eras are smaller now as well. Yeah, they are. You look it. at the windows. Two, three I mean, period. honestly, go back. Yeah. Okay, so this is what's crazy and how quickly um, news stories turn over. There was an article on Sky Sports the other day on the app and I, I flicked on it and it said, will Liverpool dominate the premiership for the next 10 years? And I, I'm not going to lie, I had to laugh because... They haven't won the title yet. Yeah. And you go back two years ago and City were the first team to do the Centurions. Well, yeah, they asked the exact same question about City about yeah. six months ago. And it's just mm. funny because it's like, the memory's really that short of like of people, you know, like, okay, yes, football changes, but Liverpool, as much as they've got a fantastic team and they will always be contending for the next probably five, six years, you can't say they're going to dominate because with obviously the budgets that these teams have now and the financial powers that they have, you're gonna get. You're gonna be contending from all over. You know, you players got, are gonna come through. Yeah, you have got these young players as well. The Might young players. Message, you know, know, the young players are probably the best quality we've ever seen coming yeah. through now. And you mm. never know, like Salah, one of Salah, Firmino, or Mane might go in the next two years, and we might not replace them exactly mm. properly. And yeah. all of a sudden, might be a another hole team, in the team and makes a good sign. And, and yeah, but look at bad yeah. recruitment. Like you know, Ferguson when he left in 2013, and Moyes took over. He still took over a title-winning team. No one really left. No. Like players were just getting older. Yeah. Eventually, those players moved on, but for years they recruited really badly. Yeah. And that's mm. why you know people are like, okay, United have fallen, and, and and that's why recently you've actually started to see them rise up a little bit again because the recruitment's been They've better. They've taken a step back, haven't they? You know, yeah. you look at Liverpool. Like when Coutinho was sold, I remember chatting to Liverpool fans and they were saying, oh, that's the worst thing that could happen. He's our best player, and ironically. It's it was the, the best thing, best that, yeah. thing that could happen to yeah. them because yeah, that money they reinvested and they reinvested so well. And they bought the best defender in the world. Yeah. And look at them now. You know, they mm. could probably do back to back Champions Leagues this season. Mm. They're going to win the Premiership. Yeah, I'm nervous for that Atletico game, though. That's a big game. I'm not gonna lie. Wednesday night. Yeah. But, you know, just going back big to one. what we were saying about the really? Hall of Fame, like, no team stays at the top for too long. It always changes. Right. And that's, that's the beauty of football. And that's what's crazy that's about it. it. That's what's got me so excited about this Hall of Fame thing because mm. it's like brought it all back. And suddenly you're just like thinking about players that you not didn't forget about, but you forgot how fucking good they were. Who would you Who would you say? I've got five. I was, that's a, that's the I've question got, I was oh, going to ask you. Got like a f- I've go got on, five. Go on, list off your five. List off your. Obviously, five. two were going in at first, but I thought two's Should two's do... harsh, man. Like it's so hard to pick two. Five. Who's the two guys? Do we know who the two going in? Or? No, I don't think so. Ooh. They, I think they released um, them. Is it per week? Is it per week or per month? Where they're, they're going to be revealing yeah. who's actually going in? As of the nineteenth, yeah. I think that's the first. It's going to be on a consistent basis where they're oh, going to okay. be. Yeah. Re- it's two by two each time they come out. They're going to reveal who's going in and 
okay. explaining the reasons why. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. Oh, sick. But it's good why they're doing it because it's going to cause it will with cause it, it uproar with and the debate NBA, as well. With the NBA, it's such a good debate. Like ten years later, after mm. someone's retired, suddenly the question will come about: like, should we put them in the Hall of Fame? And yeah. Again, yeah, it brings yeah. you back to their career. Mm, absolutely. And it's, like, it's, just, it's good, especially good for when you're trying to like globalize the league as well. Definitely. Having like the Hall of Fame makes people like really buy in and want to know more about mm. the 90s and the 2000s and then it, and ma- it also makes players want to play to get to that level yeah. a bit yeah. more rather than just being like oh I want to be like this player that I player want 500 I want to get to I want to be a hall of fame yeah I want to be a hall of fame yeah, yeah. I want a ring I want who a have ring you, who have you got on your I'm number... interested to know your five actually yeah. in no particular order apart from number one <laughs> it's gonna be a yeah, it's gonna be like fucking Stevie <laughs> Stevie fucking Gerard yeah. one club man he epitomizes the Wait, Premier is he League. Not, is he? He's my. He's my, the rest. Only. The rest are in no particular order. But he's, but he's, like, the he's number my one. Number okay, one. Fair, okay enough, fair enough. One club man. Yep. He epitomizes the Premier League. Personally, best all round centre mid I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Put the team on his back. A criminal lack of trophies, but I don't think trophies should be held in such a high regard when it comes to individuals compared to mm. sports like basketball. Yes. Basketball's five players. You can take control of that game, innit? Yeah. Football, there's only three or four it's players at players a time. On the pitch. Yeah. Well, yeah, think of the amount of players in the world that can really take a top-level game mm. by the scruff of the neck. There's three or four mm. at any given time. It's fine, mm. fine margins in football as well. Yeah. Especially it? consistency for a whole tournament. Ex- yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, to do it sustainably over a period of time, like yeah. you say, is, is yeah. very. It doesn't impressive. matter if you win trophies or not. If you were, if you made your team better every season of your career, yeah. you're a special player, isn't mm. it? But yeah, okay. so the rest. Stevie G. So Stevie G's my like he's Stevie. straight in there. My number two. Yeah. If I had to pick a number two out of the rest, I'll, I'll say afterwards. But yeah, so in no particular order: David Beckham, mm-hmm. Cantona, okay. Okay. Thierry Henry, hey. and Frank Lampard. And my number two would be Frank Lampard. Him versus really? Stevie G yeah. epitomises my childhood. I don't think they're the two best players, but that battle mm. is what... This was the, the first character th- they brought to the league. It was the first it? domino you know- to fall in the Brexit debate. Do you know Red what- versus blue. Do you know what Liverpool I- versus London. Rich versus poor. Do you know what I feel as well with them two? I feel like <laughs> they... Be- <laughs> who's, who's, who's rich and who's poor? <laughs> uh, Chelsea, Liverpool, isn't it? Chelsea's like you got Chelsea, posh, you oh yeah, Chelsea's, Chelsea's rich Chelsea's boys, blue, posh, right. like, yeah. I mean, yeah, <laughs> Steve Liverpool. coming out in his ten-year-old Reebok slap. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but yeah, do you know, he's a proper bloke. Do you know what I'd say? I'd, I'd say about them <laughs> two. Footballer. I'd say what was so impressive about them two. I feel like with the debate about who was better because that went on for so long, I feel like that actually probably pushed them both to raise their standards. Yeah. yeah. And if anything, Especially at their clubs. If anything, I feel like because of that debate, because it was so apparent in the media, through fans, through everything, and they knew about it, of course they knew about yeah. it. People that, forget. That not only that, we had the two had best that. midfielders in the world. They were but the they, two best. But there was them two doing that, almost competing for that England spot, and then you also had Paul Scholes on the side. Yeah. Who was also a fucking boss. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and then it's... Yeah. Paul, Paul them Scott, three, I think... I think them three, that little trifecta of competition and the fact they all stayed on different one teams. Club. They were all one club men. They were all one men. club men, yeah. innit? So. Well, I mean, I know Lampard moved on at the end, but he was done, wasn't he? Like, yeah, he's, he's, he's a one club man, yeah. I think, because he, he's, he's he, lo- I mean, the he fact joined he's come City back to because Chelsea. he signed for New York and they were yeah. a City sister club. Yeah. And part yeah. of that contract was probably that he just plays for City for a few games. Mm. Yeah. Probably something to do with getting away with paying his wages. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go check out our episode. Um... Man City. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we Man break City. down the whole ban and that. Yeah. But yeah, David Beckham. I thought he's a one club man again. First English player to be the face of the league. Yeah, as well, which is a big thing yeah. considering like the start of the Prem. Good looking man as well. Exactly. No, he's fucking. Looks like you, boy. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? Fucking no. Here's Stevie. There's Frank, and there's fucking <laughs> lovely <laughs> little Miss <laughs> Trio. Yeah. <laughs> Eric Cantona, no. yeah, because class. one thing I think we miss out, and this is a conversation to be had just in general about football, is we missing we're past the era of the maverick now, mm. and we're into the era of the team. Mm. And as much as, and it's very similar to basketball again, is the teams are getting better because people are just getting better at like shooting and dribbling and the more like mm. practical skills. Mm. But there isn't that like. I mean, like people, Aggressive. most people would argue that there isn't even a place for Urzel anymore, and yeah. there's no place for number tens. And I think, in my eyes, that's kind of what made football. Yeah, great. it did. Who's in your Who's in your five? 
Oh, that's tough. Do you know what? My top five. Without none of his. His are already in there. It's our, it's our oh, Hall okay. of Fame, and it's so his are already in there. Now it's yours. So we're, we're all putting one together. Yeah, yeah so, everyone so, puts in five. So themselves. remember, my five is Stephen Gerrard, David Beckham, Eric Cantona, Frankie Lampard, and Thierry. Thierry Henry. Mm. I'd, I'd, it, I couldn't I'd decide for ages between Henri Vieira and Burkamp. Because to me personally, I fucking, I bleeping loved Vieira and Burkamp. But yeah. Henri's just that more. You know, like, some people say. He, you just look you know, at him some, and you feel young. Some people say Vieira over Lampard and Gerrard. Yeah, people do. Oh, yeah, do. he was... Vieira was sick. He He's was... the reason why you played such good football. Because it didn't just start from the forwards. It do you know what this the thing I was going to say for my you know five? Vieira was like? You might have to have Vieira and Keane. Vieira was like... Because them two, that battle between them Vieira, was mm. Vieira, insane. Vieira was... Nistelroy versus Martin Keogh. That, that was like, crazy. Like, <laughs> like, looking back on it, I love that Man U team. But in that time, like, being an Arsenal fan, in that time, Vieira versus Keane, yeah. like... I hate it. Yeah, I realised the other day, and I think I think I think the ability to be such a pantomime villain. Yeah, with, and he's with actually a top bloke. Well. He's actually yeah, yeah, a top yeah, yeah, bloke. Yeah, yeah. like, it's my yeah, favourite pundit. Yeah. He's so controversial. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> uh, do you know what? I, I think for me, like, yeah, go on. Who's in your five? It's it's really tough, and I don't want to be too Chelsea biased, but is is Zola? No, no, in no. There? Like, bring, like, bring in your bias. The, I, I, I thought about bias. Zola. First, the first player I'm bringing in, a hundred percent is Drogba. 100%. Yeah, yeah, Cult yeah, yeah, yeah. icon. You have to look, icon. At, you have yeah, to look yeah, at Drogba. Yeah. And it's, it's interesting. I wanted to bring this up tonight. I saw a thread on Twitter where someone was, I'm probably going to get a bit of stick for this, but <laughs> basically comparing Drogba and Omri. And the purpose of the thread was basically trying Bust. to expose Omri as a fraud, saying that he was overrated, which I don't agree with because no, Omri, Omri, was, Omri was not a fraud. Yeah, you like, tried, he was, you try to catch him, innit? Like, he was, <laughs> he was, Back then, when people was, weren't that He quick. was a 30 goal a season, man. But what this thread was saying is that in the clutch moments of the important games, Drogba's the Drogba guy. compared to Omri mm. totally outshone him. Mm. Like, I, don't think there's, I don't think Omri's ever scored in a final that he played in. And Drogba actually scored, scored in, in nearly ev- everyone. He, isn't he it? scored in every final we played in, mm. and which is actually even if Chelsea didn't win every final, we actually lost one of the finals he scored in. But all the other ones he scored in, we won. Mm. And yeah, because didn't was it in FA Cup in those last season? In his last or penultimate in season. his last penultimate season, because he came back. But in 2012, he scored in the FA Cup final yeah. and the Champions League final. Yeah. We won them both. Mm. And Drogba for me, like. Okay, Omri would always score more goals than Drogba because he was a clinic, more clinical finisher. He was a better all-round player yeah. for more what he could do. As well, if you gave it? the ball to Omri, Omri could beat three man and that would be it. Like mm. th- No one could catch him. No. But what Drogba actually done for winning games and for hold-up play and for like defensive play mm. and for power, yeah. like he was an animal to play against. Yeah. And do an you know animal. what he was really good at as well? Wasting time, yeah, and that's so. <laughs> and, and you're, it's, you're, it's, Chelsea, Chelsea used to be the worst team. Bro, for that. You used to be they bloody used to be the worst team. But, for that. I but, hated but honest, Chelsea honestly, for that. like, do you know what? He actually carried us over the line so much, and yeah. he was so mm. influ- so influential in our most recent history yeah. for what he's done. I mean, we regard him as our best ever player. Yeah. Well, it's similar. I, I, I have the similar arguments with people when I try to stick up for Firmino. Not similar players, but similar in the fact that their role was not goals. Yeah, it was mm. everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and. To Liverpool fans, Bobby Firmino is our best everything. player. Yeah, he does. He and to everything. Chelsea fans, Drogba was the hero. But yeah. to other teams, they go, oh, but he doesn't score as much as my striker. So yeah. how do you like him? Mm. But it's it's deep, but especially I mean, when it's your team. But my it's argue, deeper but than the that. reason why I'd say Drogba, like you look at Drogba, he played in, he played under numerous managers. He was played under loads of different formations. Never struggled. Was, never was, fell out. He was frozen out at times, but he always came back. Mm-hmm. Like Chelsea were, if they dropped him out, we were shit without him. And like, what, what you've right, done so outside? Who's, 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 who's your next couple? So Drogba, Drogba's in for me. Um, do you know what? I actually have to include my man Robert Perez. Like for me, mm. I, I think he does never. Yes. He doesn't get the credit yes. he deserves. Yes. And like growing up as well, like playing football, being around football. He was one of the players in the playground who I Robert wanted to Pires. play like. Yeah. I, do you Whenever know what? You chip someone what was actually there. crazy? Pires used to score about fifteen goals a season. Yeah, and he, he was, wasn't he wasn't a forward. He was a no. winger. Yeah, like he actually yeah. and like what? and he was one of them old school wingers as well. That wasn't it wasn't about pace. It do you remember was about that? Do you remember that goal ta- against Aston yeah. Villa? Tactical part. Yeah. Like it wasn't about. Do you being remember just the goal against Aston player? Villa? The lob. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's one of my favorite ever goals. Always used to try and. And he and he was just like he was so tenacious with what he'd done. Like he was played a massive part of the Invincibles team because when Arsenal actually, I think the last eight games they drew four or five of them. Yeah. They petered out towards the end of the season, but Pires saved them a lot. 
yeah. in that period. He, he came up with a lot of clutch goals. Mm. Um, you have to include him for me. Uh, I think he's okay. he's a three, massive part three, of that. Three, four, and five. So Perez, Drogba. I'm going to say Ryan Giggs, just because yeah. of his stats. Yeah. Like yeah, he's a legend. You know, he's, no, he's a I think he's got the I most hate Manu, yeah, No, but... Gareth Barry's got the most appearances. Yeah, Giggs is second, but I think Giggs has actually got the most assists in the league, in the Premier League, for what he done. Didn't really get spoken about a lot. No. He had the and he was given the uh, the hair dry treatment a lot from Sir Alex Ferguson. Mm-hmm. He was one of them players he never got the praise. No one ever spoke about Giggs. No. Mm. Like if you were in if you were at school, like and you you but know all those old Man United players, that that's their favourite player. Giggs. Yeah, I know. But what's crazy is yeah, United fans at the time when they're running around with the United shirts, so no one wanted to be Giggs. No. Mm. Everyone wanted to be Beckham. Yeah. Mm. You know, Cantona. Yeah. You know, like even even you know kids coming up and like you know the, Van Nistelrooy. I, Van, to, yeah, that's I what I'm hated saying. United like, and I wanted to be Cantona. So but <laughs> Giggs was one of them players. Like he wouldn't always look amazing on the pitch, but he's one of them unsung players who just does it. Yeah. And true. he like another get, guy that scored some pretty clutch goals yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Giggs, that goal against Arsenal in the FA Cup semi final mm. where he beat like five players. He's that's one of my favourite goals. Well, he? Mm. Like he was just consistent and every year again different like different formations would try I know he was well, always under it. Ferguson. He went but, from a like blistering sort of winger to like a, a cam. Yeah. And then dropped down and to centre mid, playing the deeper, Perlo yeah. role. And yeah, you know what I mean? as that's, he got older, that's... and that shows a good player for me. Yeah, yeah. oh, big time. Like, I'd, I'd definitely time. put I'd put gigs in there. All right, four and five. I'm obviously going to go with John Terry. Yes, big Tezza. In my opinion, the the greatest ever Premier League defender. The I, great, I hate, greatest ever Dolphin dive. I hate <laughs> that he's so good. Like he, like <laughs> the, like for me, it's undebatable. Like yeah. he's the highest ever goal scoring defender. I think the like, the the amount he would just put his body on the line. Yeah. Like there's no other player it that compares. Sets, sets the ball. Sets the yeah. time. You know he sort of he. I like, think that was the reason Chelsea's defence was so strong. He, he, because he had that men- he, It wasn't just what he did, but it was the mentality. He, honest, he honestly, he carried us through moments where... You know, big we were, goals. We big goals for feet. England. You know, yeah. again, t- like John Terry, he'd get you like eight to ten goals a season in all comps. Mm. That's mental. And he's a centre-back. Very underrated with the ball. His very good well. ball-playing defender. Like people talk about Ferdinand, but Terry could ping a ball. Big like, head on him as well. Yeah. Big head Mate, on he was him. the best, he was the best head like of a ball. He was, he, was, he was world-class. Like, he... He defined Chelsea during that period. You know, mm. I turned down a picture with him at Harrods because oh. it was when the whole racism thing was going on. Yeah. I was with my ex and their family and they all got a picture with him and I just stayed at the table <laughs> and they was like, oh, don't you want to get in? And I was like, nope. Nope. <laughs> no, I hate it. I regret it so much. <laughs> yeah, now. man. But, but so, I mean, I took a stand, didn't it? So you, yeah. got, so you got Jogba, Terry, Perez. And Giggs so far. And Giggs. Who's your last one? I'm going to... JJ Kocha. Oh, it was going to be a mile still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a that's a great shout. It's tough, but I'm going to go. I'm going to go, gonna go right Cristiano now. Ronaldo. Yes, oh, yes. I always forget. <laughs> I'm gonna, I, only only because like again, you know, I'm probably going to get stick for saying this. For me, he's the greatest ever player. Like in the whole Ronaldo Messi debate, I'm always Team Ronaldo just because of what yeah. he does. You know, like it's the, the work rate, isn't it? The he's guy. What I, what machine. I love about him is he defines hard work. He came from nothing. Like, he really and you have to remember nothing. when Ronaldo first came. Like although he had all that ability, he wasn't that great. Like he was you, well around. I remember, like I, do you know, I remember watching Ronaldo first two seasons, and me and my old man would sit there and we'd go. God, he does a lot of step overs, but where's the end product? Mm. Like he looks good, mm. but he's not getting any any stats. Bit like a Dharma Traore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A exactly. Of years ago. Wouldn't really score. Would beat players. Would look amazing. Yeah. But I remember a lot of his United teammates would get really annoyed of him. Yeah. Mm. And then that. something clicked. I think it was after the Euro 2004 when he lost the final because he was really good all that tournament, yeah. mm. and he started working on his physique. Do you remember he started getting more yeah. and more ripped? Then and he just took control of games. Mm. And Ronaldo, for me, like he had his BMI measured last year when he was 34, and it came back of like that he was... 23-year-old tw- or something. 22 shit. years old. 22 years old. Yeah. And it's just Speaking crazy. Like He will he will keep going until he's 40. Yeah. You know, And the numbers he puts out, the numbers he put out in the Prem, week in, week out for United. Because mm. some, someone said as well, when he first joined United, it might have even been Roy Keane, actually, and he said that... Um, that n- never before had any players seen someone get their own like medical team. Like yeah. he spent yeah. nearly all of his wages on getting better mm-hmm. when he at first, and like and they used to live on like the same road or something like that. And he used to say literally people would just be going in and out all day, and all they'd be doing is doing tests and giving them things like that. Do you know what the story? And I love at a young age. The story I love about Ronaldo the most when he was at um uh who I think yeah, it was when he was at United. When Evra was there as well, he invited Evra back to his house, back to his yard for lunch after training. Mm. He was like, "Yeah, just come around, like we'll chill, have lunch together." 
and everyone was basically des- describing this as like he just thought they were going to go hang out and have some food together. Anyway, Ronaldo gets him gets him back. He's like, right, okay, first thing we're going to do, like, get your, get your sports kit back on. We're going to train. He made him train in the gym for like half an hour. Got him like fucked, sweating out. <laughs> you know, absolutely blitzed him. And then they cooked some food together, and then they had a swim. And then they came back to the this like nap room, and he l- made him have a nap. And then after this nap, they trained again. And, and, and Evra, just hang out with me for the day. And Evra was basically saying, like, he was like, he thought he was just going around to chill with his mate. Yeah, like, yeah. Play that was it. Peasant, he man. thought he was just going around to just have a, like, they finished training. Oh, right, cool. Let's go. Let's go and chill. Yeah. Just, Never saw Spanks and FIFA. It? But he said he left and was more tired. And I think he actually even missed a game because he got like a niggle from being trained so hard. You can imagine, you know, like the Drake meme, which Ronaldo pulls up. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's go training. Yeah. <laughs> but just, like, from, he just, he defines like everything what a footballer should be. Like, yeah. his work rate is just mad. And yeah. he carried United to titles. He won yeah. Champions League. He was ridiculous. You know, he left. He still is ridiculous. He still is. Yeah. yeah. And that's, yeah. yeah, that's my five. So I'm going to go Ronaldo, uh, Giggs, Drogba, Drogba Perez, and JT. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Hey. Me. Um, you already said it. JJ Okocha. Yes. Got to put Another him in. Icon. Fuck him. Mm. The Afri- African flick. Ronaldinho. Yeah. 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 For Flair. He... Was, that, was the rainbow flick against Arsenal? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the first time I ever saw that. <laughs> yeah. And it was the first trick every kid in the playground was trying to do as well. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Big All on right. free kicks as well. Because mm. you haven't said it. Because I'm an Arsenal boy as well. Let me get my Arsenal ones out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's got to be Vieira and Burkamp. Like, yes, 100%. Just, okay. Two of the most technically just, gifted You can't not put them in ever. there, can you? Yeah, they're just too nuts. But you know, I've just realised, none of us have got a keeper in there. Ah, none, biases, of keeper. Biases. none of us have a keeper. None of us have a keeper. There's one, I think, that has to be there. Pet a check. Pet a check, it? Yeah. the records. I might have to, Joe, I might have to put it no, in my still. Can we, can we, like, nuance that pre-cap check? Yeah. No, because even when he's... No, yeah, pre, no, no listen, pre-art, pre-fucking listen, last was, season of Chelsea. He was still check. good. Do you know what one? He was even there are, better. For me, there's, oh, do you yeah, know what? True, for me, true. there's two records in the Premier League that will never be broken. One is the Invincibles. Yeah. That will yeah. never be broken. Yep. Yeah. And two will be Chelsea's 0405 team. The clean sheets. For the, no, no, the least goals conceded. Wasn't mm. it like eight? We conceded in 38 games, we conceded 15 goals. Oh, that's nice. And you look at it now, so we're that's in crazy. we're in early hey, March. Checks in my team, man. We're in, yeah. we're, in early, we're in early March and Liverpool have, well, they've got the best defence in the world. We've conceded more in already, I think. That's what I mean. You, I think you've 17? Tw- mm. No, I think it's up to 21 now after the Watford game. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm. So after that, like even now, you think... By the end of the season, that's probably going to be around the 25, 26 mark. Yeah. yeah. That, yeah. that record's never going to get beaten. Nah. No. Ever. Do you put in uh, check-in? So, yeah, I'm going to have to put check-in. Cause, firstly, because we haven't got a keeper. Yeah, yeah, secondly. Yeah, yeah. So i got JJ Okocha. Yeah. Check. Vieira. Just because he was just a fucking a fucking beast mm. like another guy that you should actually just go back and watch videos. A guy who I think, oh, shit. I think it has taken us... I think... The first time as an Arsenal fan that we even started filling that void was when we got Coquelin in and he started giving us a bit of and everyone, grittiness. Yeah. And like, that was something we had just yeah. missed for like I a good 10 years. I forgot about that narrative's been going on it's, for times. Yeah. Like they need to replace Vieira. They need yeah, to replace yeah, Vieira. No, that was, that was just the whole... It's never it's personality on the Well, he was, he, he was the type that could get the whole team and yeah, yeah. get everyone above behind and he it. was above, innit? Exactly. Like, it's, like, the, it's, it's the arrogance as well. Like mm. In football, to be successful, you have to have a, a degree of arrogance about you. True, yeah. true. A team, a, a team that yeah. wins, you have to. And when Arsenal walked out, I remember when he... Do you know what? thing about him, iconic. I always remember when the teams walked out... Do you remember he'd always put like the uh, the, the Vicks, the, the vapor yep, rub on yep, his chest, yep. and it would just I'd, come through the I'd, shirt. I did that because of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. And like, I don't know. And like, the gloves, bro. Mm. Arsenal trendsetted back then. Like, yeah. I'm a Liverpool support, really, but me. I used to love. Arsenal, Even the black man. and white stand up, sit down wristbands. Yeah, you remember all of it. Long yeah. socks. Yeah, everything. Trust me. The do, you sock the, tape. do you remember the wristbands as well for a while that they were going around? I think it was like four or five. Yeah, yeah. The black the and white stand up, stand up, stand up, sit that's down. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. I used to get them with my match magazines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah match magazines. I used to collect them all. They used to come in different colours and stuff. Yeah, trust. Who's my last? Ooh, Who's my last? One oh, spot. I'm trying to think. There's probably bare bait players. Yeah, there's a bait that. player we're missing out. But yeah. oh, the you last just got to think about spot. the teams that have dominated and won. <sighs> Olivia Giroud. No, I'm joking. Shearer's um, she, <laughs> she, she, she she up there. Shearer's definitely. Shearer. Uh, um, top goal. I love Shearer, but 
Yeah, that's I the thing. I don't know if I want to give him my last spot. Shearer, I don't want to yeah, give him my not, last spot. He's not saucy. So got... Shearer would have got in if he'd gone to United. Yes. <laughs> yeah. he, no, he would have done. He would have done. He yeah. could have the opportunity to move and he Unfortunately, didn't. Unfortunately, um, he never qualified in Europe with Newcastle. No. They might have done once for a UEFA Cup and that trophies aren't the be-all and end-all. But if you don't get your team out of like yeah. mid-battling for relegation, Agreed. Agreed. you're only certain kind yeah. of special, isn't it? Mm. That's a tough one. There's, oh, there's, there's, I need some. Oh, what? you got to think. Because I'm trying to think of it outside. Because I've got Vieira and Burkham. Do you know what I think we should That's do as well? That's my two I feel boys. like we should all throw in two wild cards as well. Crouch. <laughs> <laughs> He's my two. Peter <laughs> <and> Crouch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, who's my last one? Oh, this is difficult now. You can go current as well. Look at the t- the players you've dominated. No, recently. I'm worried that if I go current, mm, is, and when he retires, Aguero will be. Aguero. In I mean, for yeah. me, I'd, 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 I'd you say you can't put him in till they've retired. Though. I'd say I'd say even Suarez has got an outside shout. Yeah. Oh, Suarez as well. Yes. Van Persie. Van Persie. Van Persie. Van Persie for me. Sol yeah. Campbell. Yeah. Uh, Ferdinand's not even Ferdinand. in there. No, but it's got to be someone who really... Ashley Cole. Who really achieved fucking greatness. Do you know what I mean? They Harry really... Redknapp. <laughs> Harry. <laughs> Frank Morton Lampard Senior. Pedersen. The car window. <laughs> yeah. Paolo Di Canio is one of probably a wild cardy one. Yeah, that's yeah. Sort of more like culty, isn't it? Like, Jimmy Bullard? Uh, oh. <laughs> Legend, but not, yeah. not there. He's not got there. better since he's retired, by the way. <laughs> I know, when I went to my soccer AM, I think, you need to, like, <laughs> he actually you need to get an agent, Dust mate. your boots off, you know mate. Get yourself in. <laughs> we'll have you at Jules. Yeah, he's <laughs> class, Margate. mate. Margate, fucking come, yeah. come on down. <laughs> Oh, oh, still sorry guys, fucking delaying it. Um, De Bruyne, the guy now. Oh, man, so I'm just uh, saying, too many I'm Arsenal saying, names popping up in my head that I'm trying to move away from, <laughs> trying to move away from the Arsenal players, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That's I what think, I keep... Do you know? I think you have to put a City player in. I think you have to just because they've won like five leagues now. Oh, it'd have to be company. A, it'd have to be a company's quiet. the only one that's retired. That'd be, it'd have to be a quiet. He's oh, not retired, are we, oh, what we're doing only retired. That's you can't you can't go into a Hall of Fame team. Oh, uh, okay, that makes things a little bit easier. Um, it's got to be company. It has to be company. He's the only one that's old mm. enough. Yeah, he is because everyone's still playing. He is. Joey Barton. <laughs> <laughs> underrated. For the prison stint. <laughs> Criminally underrated. <laughs> literally, he was, he was <laughs> literally he was sick. I used to love um, Joey Barton. Oh, Premier League, Premier League. All I can oh, think I about is to, like funny calls, isn't it? I can't think of anyone that was that. Yeah, good. since it's, I mean, since it's retired players, it might have to be company. Ashley might, Cole. Well, because uh, I want to say I want to say Sol Campbell, but I'm trying uh, to be. Well, That's a divisive one. Mm. Half of people I love will him, agree. Half I people will be like, never. He was my he was my favorite Them half defender back fans. in the day. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But like, I can't. But I can't kick out Burkamp because he was just. Colo, oh, even Colo. Oh, no, Colo's. Yo, yo. He's retired now. Yo, yo. He's actually retired. Yo, yo, Torre. He's got to be. Uh, if, yeah, if, no, if I'm if going to the city one. It's got to be Yo, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right, cool, he was right, cool. sick. Arguably, yo, yo, nah, nah, yo, yo, arguably up spot. there with Gerard and Lampard for the best pro midfielder Agreed. discussion. Do you remember that? Was that season where he would just score a fucking forty yard every three games? He'd start deep. Mancini would give up at half time and just be like, "Yeah, yo, yo, you go number ten in it," and he just score. I think, I think in the Prem that season he might have got. I think he got over twenty goals. Yeah. He yeah. actually did. It yeah. was class. Yeah, it's got to be. All right, so, Yaya. I can't believe I didn't Vieira, think of Yaya Torre. I'm ashamed of Yaya, myself. Yaya, Vieira, Okocha, Burkamp, and Czech. Good yeah, job. That's yeah, my yeah, five. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. got to be my five. Yeah. Yes. Um. Yeah, man. Right. And a couple of these guys that we've picked, i just got a couple. i just got... It'll be real quick. Gone. you just got to guess who it is. Wait. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right, I'm just gonna read <laughs> a, a news story in it. I'll, I won't say the player's name, but you gotta guess who it is. We've picked them and we've spoken about them. A 21 year old is shot and wounded whilst on work experience at a Premiership training ground. The left back was reported to Ashley have been. Cole. Cole. La- <laughs> guess at the fucking end. <laughs> <laughs> to have been larking around with a 22 caliber air rifle and scope to boot, but didn't realise it was I loaded remember this. when he I shot this. Tom Cohen, a sports science student, from five feet away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's less than that. I remember, I remember that. that. I remember that. And on the same training pitch was home to more controversy as two years earlier than the shooting. The club captain was caught asking for ten thousand pound cash payments for behind the scenes tours tours unbeknownst to the manager. 
And no. it's the same guy I refused a picture with. John Terry. Yes. <laughs> John Terry and Ashley Cole. Right. The fucking oh. legend. And this this one, you, this isn't Premiership related, but midfielder has received a suspended sentence of nearly three years for firing a gun in a hospital after a fight with a singer. A fight between the two broke out and the singer's no- nose was broken. So the footballer then turned up at the hospital, allegedly begging for forgiveness whilst also shooting at the floor. <laughs> What kind of gun? What, a real gun? Yeah, that's Arda Turan. Arda Turan? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, didn't know I never heard about this. Bro, this was like last year, isn't it? Really? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mad. Matting. And no, I know we ain't got much time, but but <laughs> it's, these are brothers. <laughs> An ex-England striker received a caution from police after a 12-year-old boy was shot in Suffolk. He was playing for Ipswich. That's the first story. The second story. Just after 9.30pm... 2015 player called the police high on cocaine convinced someone was in his house they used a battering ram to enter because they'd been knocking for 10 minutes and no one had answered but they could hear screaming from inside they knocked the door down and as the door folded they were confronted by the topless player wielding a meat cleaver and another knife and they tased him on the spot oh, who do you reckon it is? two brothers who played you... both played in the prem gazer and phil no strikers mm. Strikers. If you get it, I'll be impressed. Charlton and Ipswich. One went on to ben? play for Tottenham. Darren, Darren, Darren ben, and Marcus ben. Ben. No. Darren ben. Darren Bent shot the 12 year old, and Marcus Bent was the cocaine guy. Wow. <laughs> Wait, Darren Bent shot a 12 year old? Yeah. Oh my lord. <laughs> Allegedly. Oh, he's in my top five right now. Yeah. <laughs> Underrated striker, by the way. And did he Darren. was fucking. He was sick on his day. Yeah. Darren yeah. Bent. He was sick on his yeah. day as so. Yeah. No, he really was. Hmm. Who would you say? Uh, I can't. Now I said Marcus and Darren Bent. All these memories are just flooding. Yeah, like, Charlton. Ch- Ch- I met, you met, I met Matty Holland. We met Matty Holland. Oh, yeah. On do you the remember train. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah on yeah, the yeah. tube. Yeah, do you remember Matty Holland? Yeah, great player. Yeah. Dennis Romadale. Oh, my days. The quickest player in the Prem. He was class. Yeah. Do you remember yeah. Peter Lovenkrans that used to play for Yeah. Them? I just remember having the um, the micro stars. Of I them. actually, I miss Charlton. Like growing up, they were the they were such a big team. Well, they're our local big yeah. team, isn't it? Really, still. Yeah. They were, they were so, so important. I remember getting like the um, the shootout cards. Yeah. And just match getting attacks. all the Charlton players, match attacks, oh, yeah. mate. filling the stickers in. Yes. They were Clark, They were really good for a while. It's a shame they went down because they yeah. haven't been back since. And mm. on that depressing note, Aww. you've got to leave us all now. Aww. Right. Before you go, make sure you subscribe, all yes, right? Because did you know, ninety percent of what? our viewers do not subscribe. Ninety percent in it. Ninety percent are unsubscribed. In it. In it. Poor, to check out if you're subscribed, poor scroll poor. down and look. Does it say subscribed or subscribe? If it says subscribe, click it. It's and then free. Subscri- it's free. It helps us out. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Even give us a comment. Let us know what you think that about. Mean- our and opinions. Then, do you agree? Do you disagree? Who's in your top five? Yeah, exactly. Yes, Who's in your top and five? if you've got a top five, click on a website called Patreon. You have to give us five pounds to give us your team or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 listen. no, no, no. To, to everyone watching, um, scroll down. Uh, in the description, there's a link to our Patreon. All donations and that, like. Uh, we want to use these donations to put back into yeah, the yeah. production of this show and we will, just improve production yeah. quality. And yeah, the more man. money comes in, the more it will get upped. The more we can get, the more shows we on. can make. We can do, shows we, we can, can make. do nuts things. Yeah, but thanks Crazy. for listening. At thanks the very everyone. Least. Cheers, guys. Yeah, I've been Yak. He's been Connor. He's been H. He's been Newt. I hope you've been yourself. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks everyone. Peace. <laughs> Ha ha ha